Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Avishos 3D. Today, we're going to talk about yellowing. If you're like me, you get frustrated by doing a great print in the translucent um, resin from Eagle Mark and having it turn yellow almost immediately as you cure it. So I'm going to go through the different ways that I try to cure the uh, resin to prevent it from yellowing as much. So the first thing I did was the just put it in the sun. So this one was just in the sun. And as you can see, uh, it turned pretty yellow. Okay, especially on the top where the sun was hitting it here, it turned yellow. Not so much on the bottom. It's interesting that there are different shades of yellow all the way through the model. The models today we're using are from the 3D printing professor. These are his low poly dinosaurs that he gave me at the, the last MRF. And so I use them for almost all my tests because, well, they're pretty cure, pretty, pretty cool, easy to print, and uh, don't take very long. All right. Now, the second way I did it, this was 20 minutes in the sun. Uh, then I used my curing station, and this was 20 minutes in my curing station. Not as yellow, but still kind of yellow. This was done in a water bath. Oh, no, I take it back. This was done on the turntable. So you can see that this part's a little bit more yellow than this part because it got hit more with light. Um, that's one of the reasons you might think about using a water bath instead of just a turntable on your curing station to make sure that there's an even yellowing through your model. Okay, and last but not least, I read on a web page about not even curing it. Instead, spraying on gloss varnish with UV uh, blockers in it and not curing it at all. So let me show you what I'm using for my UV blocker. This is Montana varnish. It's a gloss, which should really enhance the translucency. And it is varnish, and it does say uh, UV protection. Uh, I did have to order that from Amazon. I went to Home Depot. I went to Lowe's. I could not find this anywhere. Went on the Amazon. It's a little bit more expensive than regular things you can get, such as this, which I've used, uh, Rust-Oleum. Uh, but it's supposed to be much better because I'm not sure this Rust-Oleum is uh, UV blocking. It's UV resistant, as you can see there. But this is about half the price of the Montana, which is also UV protection. It doesn't say resistant, it says protection. Uh, I don't know, we'll have to test that in another video. Okay, so let's take a look at the uncured one. So I took this right out, kept it inside, so I never went out in the sun, and I sprayed it with the varnish. Uh, that's pretty translucent. Compared to these guys, it really didn't turn yellow at all. But I think it went a little bit yellow because some of the lights in my house, I thought, well, maybe they are causing it to go yellow. I have... Um, these basic daylight lights, and I think that might be slightly in the UV spectrum. So I used another test, and what I did was I took a garbage bag, turned out all the lights, stuck one of these in the garbage bag, brought it in the kitchen with the lights off, cleaned it uh, with only an LED light, and then sprayed it. So this has never been in any kind of light except a little bit of UV, or I'm sorry, LED. And I got these results here. As I look at this, it's a little bit clearer, but not much. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Okay, you can see this one is slightly yellow, and this one isn't at all. This is not cured. I just sprayed it with varnish, and... Um, it seemed to really do the trick. It stopped it from yellowing as much. So if you have pieces or parts that you want to ensure doesn't yellow over time, 
definitely don't cure it. What I did was I um, washed it in Mean Green, did a rinse and isopropyl alcohol, and then cleaned it off with water and let it dry. And it came out really well. It's not sticky like uncured resin because there's a layer of varnish and it seems to work well. All right. Um, as far as UV protection, I did take one similar to this because I did a couple, as you can see. Stuck it out in the sun. And um, it's not a UV blocker. It's UV protection. And that yellowed a little bit. So the only way you can keep it from yellowing is never take it outside. <laughs> All right. Because um, no matter what you do, uh, the UV is going to get to it. If, if you know of a UV blocker that can be used instead of just UV resistant, I would definitely like to hear about it. Uh, I definitely don't want to have to have this like stuck inside and never near a window or any kind of light coming in the house. All right. Well, that does it for our episode of Get the Yellow Out. As always, subscribe and you have a great day.